Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rohit Khatavkar. I'm a microendurologist practicing in Mumbai and the founder of Vision Microdentistry Training Academy. Our topic for today is going to be about a very simple but important step that we will carry out during our manual instrumentation. That is pre-covering our hand instruments or your manual files before using them in the root canal space. Now let's talk about the different ways and areas where you would normally pre-curve your file and how and why you would want to do that. So here we have a 15 number hand instrument and this is the file that you normally see when you take it fresh out of the packet. So it's absolutely a straight instrument and uh, one of the problems that we face many times is when we try to paste this straight instrument even in this simple tooth that is a maxillary central incisor you would end up hitting against one of the walls and there is a high chance that you can end up creating a ledge or if you still continue using this straight instrument you can end up creating a small apical transportation so the one of the ways that you can prevent it by is by giving a gentle curve along the length of the instrument so clinically what i would do is i would just take the bulb of my thumb and the index finger and run them along the cutting surfaces or the cutting fruits of the file. If you see what this does, it gives a very small gentle curvature along the entire length of the instrument. So this is how I would normally pre-curve an instrument before I would introduce it in the canal. And you see what happens now, my file can pass more easily without any resistance right till the apex. Okay. So this is how I would normally pre-curve the file when I am placing them for routine cases. In case there are certain situations where I would want to have very specific curvature, I may not be able to get that with just my fingers. In such cases, you can use a bird beak plier or very simply you can use a universal orthodontic plier which is I'm sure available in your operatory. So you can see that there are different levels that the universal plier has. So depending on the angle or radius of curvature that you would need, I would choose to either go to the highest one that would give me a larger radius of curvature for pre-curving. So you can see I've got a larger radius of curvature over here. <clears throat> this enables me to negotiate a canal which has a curvature somewhere deep that is below the middle third of the root canal space. In case I am with in a situation where there is a very sharp apical curve in that case i would go to the smaller end of the universal plier and give a smaller radius of curvature okay now you can see i've got a sharp curve over here this will enable me to negotiate the curvature right in the apical zone or if i have a situation where i need to <clears throat> locate a lateral canal or try to scout for some lateral or accessory canals then I can give this kind of a sharp apical curvature. Another area where I would want to have a specific curvature is when I am doing a ledge correction. So for a ledge correction I would keep two things in mind. One is that we determine the radius of curvature according to the area where we need to correct the ledge. So if it's a very sharp bend in that case, the ledge might get corrected, but there is a high chance that your file might also kink in the process of pre-curving it. If there is a short curve right at the apical part, that will help me in ledge correction at the same time not damage the instrument. Second thing I would want to take care of is that when I am pre-curving this file, I would want to also have an orientation on the occlusal surface. So for that, I would take a stopper which has a marking like this. You can see that black mark on the stopper and I would orient that black mark with the point where I have the pre-curve. So when I'm placing this file inside the canal, I will know which point corresponding to the stopper over here is my pre-curved area. So when I insert this inside, I know which is the area where the file has got curved and accordingly try to correct my ledge. So I hope this information on pre-curving your hand files was useful for you. In case you have any doubts, please feel free to comment down in the sec comment section below. Uh, also follow us for regular updates. Thanks.